Assalamu alaikum guys hey, Just for to do a little quick review of the tent uh, The tent we brought was a Quecha 3 man tent It was initially meant for 2 people uh, But we ended up bringing my son with me But it literally took us about 5 minutes just to set this tent up but All you do is take it out of the bag uh, Undo the clips, it pops And then just set it down And then obviously use the hooks that come with it uh, just to make it more stable you don't necessarily have to but we did because obviously we were going to walk around and stuff so just in case any wind or anything could possibly happen uh, so we just set it down a bit more stable but yeah it cost us about 60 quid for the tent from decathlon uh, this site that we actually went to was called ben nevis holiday park which cost us 43 quid for two nights. It is a six and a half hour drive from Stoke-on-Trent. I would recommend to try and go there early in the morning. We went a bit later and we got stuck in a bit of traffic on the M6, but overall, not a bad drive. Uh, we stopped a few places on the way back, obviously. I just drove six and a half hours. Uh, we had a blow up tent, uh, blow up mattress, sorry, for the back seat. So we just lay my son down in that and he slept. Alhamdulillah for the full six and a half hours. I don't know if that's illegal, but that's what I did. I hope I haven't just self-incriminated myself. But yeah, a literally amazing night. You've got pockets inside there. You've got a you've got a little hook for your light. So anyway, the following day, obviously we received. We got there for about seven o'clock. I think it was. Uh, the following day we woke up and decided you know what we're gonna go climb ben nevis with my son yeah bad idea i guess but it wasn't alhamdulillah uh, my son ended up making it to the bridge i think from the bridge to the halfway point is about an hour but here he is uh, all dressed up we ended up taking his jacket off because bruv it was boiling and i mean it was boiling it was boiling uh, literally we were wearing all these thick layers expecting it to be cold and it ended up being really really hot as you can see the path here doesn't seem that bad but as soon as you go a bit further up that's when it gets a bit worse uh, i ended up picking up my son on my shoulders for some of the walk but alhamdulillah he motivated a lot of other individuals overall the experience camping as well as going up any mountain ever it's always been brilliant to be honest with you the people here are really friendly yes we were the only asian family camping but i guess and i hope that this video changes a lot of people's minds and people do go camping and you know it's just seeing somebody doing the same thing that you're seeing from within the community is a brilliant thing as well it makes you feel more comfortable in your surroundings but you know i adapt anyway alhamdulillah but here my wife actually made it to the top well she was literally about a couple of minutes away from the top but she went on her own while me and mikhail we turned back uh, i think this i believe is the halfway point uh, they say there's a lake halfway i think she was about another two hours from here uh, well two hours from here to summit and she alhamdulillah she did it uh but yeah you overall i'd recommend for everybody to go and try this out once in their life at least i will be going either wild camping in snowdonia or i'm looking at places but stay tuned inshallah and we'll see where we go but jazakallah head for watching and uh, if you've got any questions then just drop them to me and inshallah I'll answer them the best way I possibly can. Allah Hafiz.